As a Cowboys fan, I know you're happy about that bounce back game yeah. that they had. Talk about what were some of the things that you saw from that game last uh, Sunday. Uh, I think they were just being aggressive. I think um, the first half they played very well. We got out to a great lead. Uh, I wish we would have been able to get a field goal or score at the end of the set uh, before halftime. Mm -hmm. And then I think um, we had opportunity where we had opportunity to take the lead, but the way those guys are poised. They keep fighting back. Make, when Tampa Bay came back and made a run, uh, our defense is playing well. We're getting some key guys back, mm -hmm. help us. And I think Dak was just poised. And I think a lot of people are looking for him to make the deep ball threat. Right. But he's just a guy that's playing with a, a great patience, like a great flirt in general. Uh, he's not trying to speed him up. Mm -hmm. He's playing the way he wants to, making the right reads. And uh, to be able to close out games like that and come back from a bounce back after the New York game. Mm -hmm. I think uh, New York game, he kind of just – wasn't really patient. I think mm -hmm. a couple of times he could have ran a little bit more and trusted yeah. his feet. But that's what he does. When they take guys away, uh, he can make plays on his feet. And I think he didn't trust it as much that game. Mm -hmm. But for him to bounce back like that and get a big win, uh, it's great for us. A lot of people back in North Texas are saying, man, the Cowboys would be so much better without all this extra noise. Sometimes Jerry Jones throw out there with that whole um, yeah, Romo I, I, think, I think it's tough, you know what I mean? Because you know what I mean? we appreciate and love everything Tony Romo oh, has done for us. For sure. And, and that's why he's one of our franchise leaders in every category, just about. But uh, it's, it's a point in time, and sometimes it, and franchises have to move on. When it's a franchise guy's time up, they have to move on. Um, we have two great rookies. We have a great offensive team. Now I'm thinking we can help our defense a lot, add some more pieces next year. Mm -hmm. But um, you have to kind of put it in, put it behind you. Know? I mean, Tony's there if something happened to that sure. or he want to close out a game. But right now you have to believe in this guy. This guy won 11 straight games for you. Mm -hmm. uh, all that talk behind him, for him to be a young player like he is a rookie, he tones that out very well. Yeah. And, uh, he just goes out there and plays football. And uh, I think having a coach, Jason Garrett, yeah. keep that to the noise, to the side of whatever Jerry Jones talking about, <laughs> helps a lot. So uh, he just got to keep being out there, being a lead, doing, watching film and doing the work he's doing. Can you connect us uh, as, as an athlete, Dak being a rookie, and he's doing all of the things that he's doing. Tell us, I mean, you were a rookie at one point yeah. in time. I know you play basketball. He's uh, football. Think, what, what is that football like? Football a little bit different. Though. I think you have a lot of pressure on you, but mm. they have a lot of veteran guys, That's a lot true. of great veteran guys on the team. And uh, he's kind of got one that didn't go like first round. I went number one piece. He didn't go to a bad team. Uh, uh, he's going to a great team and just needed some pieces to stay healthy. And uh, he's coming and doing everything that a rookie doing, even though he's playing well. He's probably the first guy there, last guy there, yeah. first guy in the film room watching extra film. Those are things you have to do, and I think he has great veterans around him. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of different. When you come to my rookie, I didn't have too many veterans around me, so that's I kind of had to learn the ropes on my own. Mm -hmm. But uh, just for those guys to believe in, and even having a veteran guy, Jason Wooden, saying they make us feel young. Right. That's exciting for a guy that's getting into the end of his career. All right, last question. Any shout out you want to give out to Cowboys Nation? We'll be there live on. Monday, uh, Cowboys hosting out, a, uh, the Lions. Out, shout out my Cowboys nation. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Don't let the Lions beat us. <laughs> Zeke, keep killing days. You know what time is? Throw the eggs.